So now I'd like to look at some of the basic functions I mentioned in the previous video. And I always like to hear what these functions sound like. So I'm going to use the uh, dual uh, oscillator 258T um, and put some of these functions on that. I'm going to mainly use um, the wave shape. So we've got just a basic sine wave here. And then I can manually uh, go over to a um, sawtooth wave. Or I can automate that with a function generator. I'm going to uh, use the manual trigger out. Uh, I'm going to have a fast attack, a medium decay, and go to wave shape. And here we go. Of course, I could automate that by cycling another function generator coming out of its pulse out and going to the trigger in. As I mentioned before, if we go into sustain, this was typically used for like a keyboard, so if you had a uh, holding the key down, it would sustain as long as you held it down, and then when you released, it would go to the decay time. Uh, but we can uh, you know, emulate that by using a continuous control voltage. So here's just the uh, uh, transient. And now if I go into sustain, Ah, cycle. So right now there's nothing happening, but if I send like a gate, in this case I'm just going to use a, a continuous control voltage here, and it will cycle when it's high. pretty fun function. Now let's look at the CV in on the attack and decay. As I mentioned, this is uh, sort of the part and parcel of the Krell. Uh, if we're in uh, self-cycle, we can hear how this now affects how the second function generator will affect the attack parameter. <laughs> Another amazing thing is this can go into audio rate, so we can use it to FM our uh, one of our oscillators. Oh, actually, right. Um, I was going to pull this out and put it in um, pitch, but right now we're getting basically wave shaping modulation. That's not. AM, it's not FM, it's not timbral modulation, it's wave shaping modulation. Okay, now let's take a listen to the, like, we can go into FM, see what that does and put this in audio rate, so as fast as it'll go. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
lots to explore there. Uh, now let's look at this uh, blending mode here. Uh, if I put this in self-cycle and have that sort of sound or function going, uh, back to our wave shape, and I have a different uh, function coming from the second one, from B, if I come out of our blender with this to A, we just hear A, and then it'll add B in. And finally, quadrature. So I'm going to put A and B in quadrature. Uh, and I'm just going to mess around uh, so you can uh, hear how different things happen. Here we go, how we get different envelopes and you can watch the lights and see where they're synchronized or just slightly out. Uh, I think I'll take uh, the top function generator to our uh, wave shape again and I'll take the B to, uh, uh, let's go to um, pitch. What craziness do we have here? Well, hopefully you get the idea. Okay, uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, I think next we'll move on to the 258T um, dual oscillator. Thanks for watching.